Hey guys, how you doing? Um, I just wanted to make a quick video, real quick, um, because I had, or I have, both versions of the Isle installed. I have Arima, and I also have the Legacy version installed. Now, with this recent update that they did, um, I noticed that whenever I went to launch Legacy, I would get this message that would pop up. The Steam system failure, that it can't launch correctly or whatever. Please restart your computer. So the reason this is happening is because uh, when they updated the legacy version, whatever they did, and today's date as of now is June 12th. Uh, I forgot when they did the update. But um, so in order to fix this, uh, we have to create the Steam uh, something about the Steam launch ID uh, for it to connect to Steam or something like that. It's it's weird, but I'm going to show you all how to do that. Um, if you haven't installed both already, uh, I have a link to the video that I uh, used to install both uh, down in the description below. So if you haven't in, you haven't got both, uh, go ahead and do that first. So. What you're going to do to fix this, um, I don't remember exactly where I put my legacy version in the files. So what I do is I, oh, hold on. You can't see my mouse. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. Now you can see my mouse. All right. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click. I'm going to go to manage and browse local files. So you know where this is. Now this one's going to automatically take you. To the Arima um, file, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to common, and you see here that I did the steps. So I have the Arima version, and I also have the legacy version. So go to you're going to have to go to the legacy version. Okay, you're going to go to the Isle binaries Windows 64. Now I have already done this step. So that's why you see this. But on your screen, all you're going to see is this right here. That's all you're going to see. So what you're going to do is you're going to right click, you're going to go to new, and you're going to create a text document. Okay. And it create a text document and you're going to name it Steam underscore app ID. Okay. Now, once you name it that, you're going to double click it and yours is going to be blank. But in here, you're going to type in the numbers 376210. Okay. That is the uh, IELTS Steam app ID. So once you do that, you're going to save it, going to exit it, and this should fix that error uh, code. All right. So yeah, I hope that helps. Um, just to show you guys, I guess, let me go ahead. And I launch a Rima from the Steam. So when I want to play a Rima, I just hit play from the Steam. But I have a shortcut here to the legacy version. Whenever I want to play legacy, I just double click that. And then you should not get the error message anymore once you do that. All right, so I hope this helps. Um, all right, so I'll see y'all next time.